this is Shafkarno from Easy Expert and today I'm very much excited because I couldn't believe that 2k email addresses and messages we got that sir please do prepare a new lab which is the part of uh, CCN examination that is OSPF version 3. Actually, OSPF version 3 is the OSPF version for IP version 6. So number of people from around the world, they contacted me and they requested that, sir, please produce a, um, a solution lab for this um, lab, OSPF version 3. So I'm very much excited and now I'm ready to perform this lab and I hope so. These 10 minutes will give you a very informative information regarding your uh, OSPF version 3 lab. I hope you have learned the basic things about the IP version 6 and how you can configure IP version 6. Uh, I try to demonstrate in a very short time. And second thing, uh, you may have learned that how you can cut down the larger IP version 6 address into shorter one and why we use double colon. And you may uh, observe that um, you may um, watch me in my uh, previous uh, lecture you may find out that why we use still ip version 4 as um, even though we are going to configure osp version 3 and what is the importance of loopback interface and obviously you already have learned why we use the ip version 6 unicost routing one more time i want to describe you that we use this command to enable dynamic routing okay and now in this scenario, there are two tasks you have to perform. First of all, here is the headquarter router that is directly connected with provider. And this is your service provider. And on the backside of the service provider, there may be some networks. First of all, we have to configure default route here so that from headquarter, we may access the uh, network behind the provider. Okay, first task is here. Second task, we have to advertise that default route. Yeah, we have to propagate that default route through OSPF so that these routers may use that default route to reach the provider, I guess. This is second task. And third task is there may be a neighbor relationship problem between this router and this router, but in your lab, keep in your mind only a neighbor relationship problem may be between HQ and branch office, okay? And uh, you may observe two or three things. Number one, for neighbor relationship, there must be a common area between two routers, the first thing. Number two, these two interfaces must be advertised in the same area. Otherwise, there is no neighbor relationship. So only you have to check these two or three things. First of all, I will visit the HQ router and I will use the default route there to forward my all of the traffic from this area, from this area to service provider. Here, I'm gonna just demonstrate you and you will really enjoy it. For your satisfaction, here is my EEE -E 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 network and which is actually on the backside of my service provider. First of all, I gonna ping from this router to this IP address, okay? I gonna ping, ping, E, 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 colon, colon, one. And I'm sorry, I am unable to ping that specific network, which is on the backside of your service provider router. I can ping the directly connected one. Here you see, I can ping here, three, sorry, double zero one, colon, colon two. I can ping because I can access this IP address from here because it is directly connected, but this one is not accessible here. So I'm going to configure default route. And you see IPv6 route, colon, colon, slash zero. And now I'm gonna forward all of the traffic to my directly connected neighbor, colon, colon two. Okay, you got it? After this default route, you may observe a default route in the routing table. Here you see, this is the default route. And now you may access the network behind the service provider area. E colon E colon E, E colon colon one. Oh, got it. In my first attempt, that network was not accessible. Okay, and now, this is the first task. 
and the second task is config t second task is you gonna provide you are gonna advertise here uh, sorry you have to configure this command as well okay first of all okay default route i i gonna um, propagate okay you may use this command um, just for your verification ipv6 unicost routing i have already configured this command but you have to use this command on hq router in your ccn lab this is a, and now i'm going to ipv6 router ospf process id and definitely um, you may check the diagram and uh, according to diagram you have to use the um, uh, process id okay in my scenario i'm using the process id one and in your scenario in ccn examination you may check the process id first okay and in that scenario you just have to configure default information originated oh this is the beauty of this command now that default route is being advertised by the ospf and that default route is available in the routing table of this router hey you see i hope you got it this is second task and what is the third task show ipv6 ospf neighbor headquarter router is the neighbor of this router this is ra1 the router id of 10.1.1 but hq is not the neighbor of 30.1.1.2 what is the reason you may check maybe serial 0/0 slash zero is not advertised maybe how you can check show ipv6 protocol here you see only one interface is advertised in ospf this is the first thing and show running and in this way you can check also that this interface actually is advertised in the ip v6 ospf but i'm sorry i'm sorry i forgot to advertise serial 0/0 interface oh sorry sorry i did it advertise this interface in ospf then how you can advertise config t interface serial 0/0/0 ipv6 ospf the process id is one which is actually i am using in this scenario and i have to advertise this interface in area 0 hey, you see and you have to check the area okay and as you will configure you will get the neighbor relationship message here oh my goodness if you got all these things your topology will be really good and rest of the thing maybe this is packet tracer and some of the networks may not be accessible from here but in your lab you should be capable to see the neighbor of this router in your neighbor table and you should be capable to ping this ip address or this ip address from here from here from here and then okay come here and now check show ipv6 ospf neighbor okay if you have done all the things you have to save the configuration copy running dash config startup dash config my dear keep in your mind until you not saving your lab your lab is no more acceptable so most of the people they perform their lab they test their lab and they forgot to save the configuration so if you are not saving your configuration it's mean you are wrong so i hope so you have got the enough information and you will do the all the things practice 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 and definitely it will make you very comfortable this is my humble request to all of you do consider this website it's really helpful for you and uh, you may uh, follow these lines and you type and you write these lines on your notebook 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 type 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 and write 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 and you will be definitely um uh, good enough to perform your lab in your ccn examination and this is my humble request 
be relaxed over there and there is no need to perform anything in hurry okay take care this is uh, from my side this is a contribution if you like my effort please do comment do appreciate and do share with your friends so that the other people can enjoy the latest stuff this is the latest ospf topology which is being observed in the ccn examination so best of luck very good luck and do pray for me I hope you have enjoyed today's session and if you like our effort so please you are requested to subscribe our channel and share with your friends and this is your contribution to promote easy expert take care